Hi everyone, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. This video is sponsored by the One Football app. Get down on it, it's free. Link is in the description that keep me up to date with all the tournaments in June because there's loads. It's nice to actually get a bit of football back in it. We've got the Copa America, we've got the Nations League going on at the minute, we've got the uh, Euros, the under 21s, the Women's World Cup, we've got the uh, Gold Cup as well. We've got loads going on, African Cup of Nations, if I mentioned that already. Um, but we're going to be talking about the takeover in a moment. But on the second channel, we've done a video with the release list of all the youngsters who've just left the club as well. So go out and check that out we're trying to push that a thousand subs as well and if you want to buy yourself a newcastle fans tv shirt they're only two pound at the moment and of course you can get your retro shirts which is available on our website newcastlefanstv.com right that is the formalities out the way let's get on with um, the official news so what has happened today for you guys who have not up to speed i'm sure you've seen it already is a company was registered on the company's house's website It's a government website where you can register a company and then incorporate it and you know you pay your tax income you release your statements every year how much you earned and so on but um the key thing to remember here it's pretty easy to set up a company we've done it newcastle fans tv are on there have a look we've done it so it's easy to do it and i'm not saying that it's a false acquisition see what i've done there it's ironic and it's called monochrome acquisition limited it's black and white which is ironic black and white acquisition or if you want to put it in slang terms black and white take our easy so it's been it's been the correspondence address has been registered as 30 crown place which is ill court down in london and there's two directors which is shea colored and they've also got Sheikh Kidwai, Mida Kidwai, we've heard a lot about the last few days. And they're the only two, and it's, it's got obviously his nationality as the Emirati, which and obviously the two guys are from the United Arab Emirates. So that caused a bit of a meltdown and where everyone's getting excited. Now I was, you know, the other day when I'd done that, I wouldn't say it was a rant, but it was like a mini rant that I'd done. I was just feeling a bit negged out. It's all coming third party. But yes, it's easy to set up a company, like I say, on that website. However, you can't get around some of the legal stuff you can't just decide you're the director of a company and get away with it it's a it's a it's official document but it also means nothing as well although it could also mean something else so any, like i say anyone can register it however it also could be set up for the potential of buying newcastle united by setting up this company they would then you know buy the shares from Newcastle United that is one aspect of it and there was a couple of a couple of things flying around early on today that the Chronicle was saying that was linked with the, the when Mike Ashley bought the club because Mike Ashley it's been registered at the address of Pinsent Masons now obviously I don't know much about law firms and so on I'm not gonna lie stand here and tell everybody that I do but it was a London law firm that basically worked with Mike Ashley when he bought the club um, way back in what 2006 or 2007 it was off the top of my head and they dealt with it and the Chronicle said that the address has been registered there now Keith Downey from Sky claims it's not so he turned around and tweeted We've taken legal advice from our lawyers. The company's house listing from Sheikh Khalid is a special purchase vehicle used to transfer shares to outset of a new company. It can be done by anyone though, and it's difficult to prove veracity. Any UFC away and still refusing to comment. And Newcastle, again, are still refusing to comment, but this is coming third party. It's not directly by Newcastle. Keith went on to say, what I would say is that Mike Ashley has been using Denton lawyers to sell the club and not Pinsent Masons. I'm aware as it stands, this means nothing other than a new company has been registered so it depends where you sit on this has Sheikh Khalid and Sheikh my weed have I said that right set up this company to go and buy Newcastle United or is it just they're sitting there doing nothing we've seen it Amanda Stavely done it remember Amanda Stavely set it up and everyone got a bit excited nothing materialized there so that's the latest with the news going on with that it's a little bit official news but this is what Paul said. The language that they're using sounds good. It's not if we take over, it's when we take over. Um, and I think if you're a group with that amount of money behind you and that power and responsibility, you don't make these statements idly. But on the other, other hand, we've had 12 years of dealing with Mike Ashley and how many false dawns have we had? Yeah? Um, so when you compare those two things, that's where it, it, there's a big divide for me um, and that's what reduces it down you know I want desperately 
I mean, fuck me. I don't even have Jeremy Kyle. I mean, he's he's uh, he's at loose, uh, loose end these days. I don't even have Jeremy Kyle as our fucking owner, as opposed to the current twat we've got. You know, even somebody with not two pennies to rub together would be better than Ashley, who is siphoning money off the club left, right and centre. Paul's never happy. He never is. It's very rare that you see Paul happy. <laughs> now I'm only messing Paul. Um, and also, uh, Kyle had his say earlier on when he's seen it as well. This is Kyle as well. I'm still sceptical. I'm, I'm still very sceptical. I'm still very head head over heart because of all the stuff with Stavely. Because Stavely did, in fact, do this a couple of years ago as well. And uh, registered a company. And it got all excited. So I'm not going to do... I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to get myself hyped up. But... It does seem that there's some good good movements going towards it. I'm I'm really hoping something comes of it. But the one thing that is being changed is the director seats. They've been taken out and replaced. Is it a throne for the new king? In that it's going forward and it's going well. Newcastle yet again not choosing to comment, which is no surprise, because it's Newcastle. They never comment about anything, so it's a it's a good thing. I, su- I suppose no no news is good news. A lot of people saying that, so um, yeah, I, I I definitely agree in saying it's it's important news that they've registered a group because you need to do that to establish any form of takeover. But the other news is Moji Army has been released by the club. Uh, the Chronicle put out a post saying it might not be over for him, but if they wanted to keep Giammi, they would have played him in a couple of extra games when he was back fit to trigger his contract clause. But they never did, so they're letting him go. He's been an amazing servant for the club. Came in in the championship season, as a centre attacking midfielder, I played behind Dwight Gale. Although he, although he didn't play that role particularly well, he he moved into a different role in as a as a holding midfielder, kind of box to box. And it was in January twenty eighteen where he really started to play well as a Newcastle player in his partnership with John Joe Shelby and started working a lot harder than he was and really had really turned a corner in his form because before then it was a he was kind of a write off among supporters but he was a fantastic servant scoring nine goals in in his time here and will never forget actually in this top that I'm wearing now scoring the the worst best goal I've ever seen <laughs> where he hits his ankle and flat and chips everyone in what was a championship decider and he's mentioned Mo Diame there as well so I'll just touch upon dead quickly Mo Diame it doesn't look like he's going to be staying at the club Rafa Benitez has talked about him before there was obviously the speculation about was he going to trigger this clause that he didn't want because he didn't want to stay for one year Newcastle were close to triggering the two-year for him. Both set of parties didn't want that. Benitez turned around and said about Mo Diame, he said, Mo has been a great servant to Newcastle in his three years here. He's given us a lot on and off the pitch and we wish him well for the future. So it doesn't look like Mo Diame is staying with Newcastle. He's on his way out. There is a video, like I say, on the second channel, the under-23 channel that we've done, about the other lads who have been released as well. So go out and check that out. Let us know what you think of this. It's hard to figure it out. Like I say, I'm not part of a law, law firm. I could be totally wrong what I'm saying. Just thought I'd give you my updates as well. Have a good night. Bye-bye.